Welcome into Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here and I do hope you are well. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. The world is changing for you, a home, traveling home. I don't know who is traveling, a celebration, something new coming up for you. And it's going to make you happy. It has something to do with your past here, it has something to do with money, stability, well-being, and I hear something, I heard something about the future, stability, something that you've planned to the wished for, wished upon, hoped for, your dream has come true. I hear granted it's already been made, planted. It's almost like you're about to flourish as if you, you know, when you're holding, you're holding in your happiness, you're waiting just for the confirmation, like you know you already got that certificate you know but you're just waiting for them to put it in your hand for you to burst out screaming in the celebration mode with the three of cups energy here so it's like you're waiting for i hear transformation that um that new feeling like i'm saying it feels like you're waiting for that reward just for that gratification or whatever it is to just something to be owned or handed to you with the ace of wands energy this new like the, the keys to your kingdom um and then it, as if it is already done you're just waiting for someone to hand you the keys so that you can burst out laughing and feel your happiness all right but at the moment let's see how you feel okay do you feel like you are uncertain, uncertain, uncertain? Your head is upside down within yourself, like you're thinking too much or pondering in too deeply. Maybe you need rest. Maybe you need to sleep like myself here. Um, so maybe get some sleep. I feel like it's, it feels like that. Oh my goodness. You know, in Jamaica, they told stories of banana trees, ghost stories, dopey stories. And they were frightening for us as children to listen to. But um, the sunlight, as it is setting, it just cast a shadow on the banana tree and it, it just frightened me. It reminded me of that time when I was a child and afraid of the banana trees because of all the, the dopey stories that the adults would delight us with as children so something about bringing you back to your awareness and i hear retrieving a moment capturing a gift and i hear spilling it's almost like being you you don't feel like you are on top of the waves you know like you know you are the ocean you're the crab and the ocean as well so riding the waves you are the ocean I do feel like with the Seven of Cups energy here, I, you are not riding the oceans right now. You feel carried, tossed and turned by the waves, maybe of your emotions. I feel like you're in the waves just being, like maybe you're not making your own decisions, your own choices. You're not on top of things. You don't feel like you're in control because you're not certain. I don't know if you're living because it feels like this crab is on its back it's not dead but it's just allowing the waters to just back like box it to and from beneath the waves it's so weird and um like ungrounded instability this is how you feel so no crab July you want to oh this is so powerful let's see if we can do this swim so you want to swim but what is it it's an energy within you The light you don't know what your purpose is 
or your soul. I'm like a bird. I will only fly away. Um, I'm getting the feeling of being rocked by the waves gently as if in a rocker, hushed, cradled, and I hear family, and I hear support. And I feel you are learning, listening, hearing, whispers, a call, a sound. You're trying to hear something that is speaking to you on the wind, I feel. And so I feel now you want to go toward that. But maybe you are afraid of leaving home behind. As if you've made your nest here on this sacred spot, on this particular part of the wave of this entire ocean, and you're afraid to go explore the rest. But there's a calling on the wind and you wish to, to follow that path and to see where it takes you. So now I feel you are awake sensing something and it could be becoming more and more urgent for you even though you may not be taking the action now like adamantly directly powerfully you're just daydreaming i feel you're just <clears throat> sitting by the ocean alone so now you're out of the water i don't know <laughs> So, I don't know, what are you doing? This bird is talking to you. There's a straw, picking straws. Why don't you go? I don't know. Do you feel more comfortable here? Even though you know this place is not enough for your dreams. I don't know, something like that. You're contemplating leaving someday, but maybe you think you can't do it now. But you could. But there is something in you that's making you, it's an energy, it's making you, is it procrastinate? And the, the book, The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho just came to mind. And I'm, it's almost like I want you to feel the energy of Santiago, how he wants to travel instead of being held back. How he follows his heart, calling and listens to the whispers of the wind to move him forward to where he feels his destiny. Instead of just staying here where you're uncertain in your emotional field, even though you know it's not where you want to be. And you know there is more with the world energy. You, wow, you see all of this is for you. Movement, sun. You're different from the rest. You know that it's the energy of knowing there's more prosperity, success, if you move or if you go somewhere else or if you do something else. But you're, you're so laid back, you're sitting on the beach with us playing with something in your hand, <clears throat> just looking and thinking, daydreaming. Because I don't feel like you're planning. I don't know, let's see. I don't feel like you're planning your content you know what might happen to you now <laughs> it listen the universe may move you for real for real like the waves may wash up on the ocean on the on the stand and just wash you away so you have to move literally you know what i mean you have to make a decision now to move forward, yes. So if you make the decision, or if you don't make the decision, I feel the universe will make it for you. The universe don't play. 
And remember that you are the universe. So I want to know what's coming up for you. It's you see you're being given an opportunity to that's gonna help you a word something. What is the ace of one? Tell me what's the ace of one. What is it being given? I a plant, a tree, sorry, a victory. you're to I'm hearing a plant a tree healing healing the inside world first celebrating I'm getting the energy of you just falling back and looking into you more where your ocean in the depths of yourself cancer in your own emotions your own ocean just dwell there as if, if you could sink down, as if falling into water, not resisting. Just fall into your emotions like that with a star card. There's what's here. There's, you're going to find something. Some. It feels like there is an invader there that's living there that does not belong. Because you have not been there, so this person has taken over the premises this one I know they see you coming in and I hear with the third eye and they're going what's this person going to say? so they may be leaving oh it's almost like I don't know if you're forcing this one out or it's just that you've come home, you're light. And I do feel like the light is you going home and going into that space feels like light shining into a space that was dark. It feels like that's what going home feels like in this case. As if turning on a light inside. And so the darkness just moves away because you're home and you've lit a lamp here with the star and you're home you know what I mean inside here and this is where to start this is where just and I feel as if just be here with this lamp lit in this home just be there that's all I feel that's all just that's all and what's to move away is moving away because you're home what is the seven of stars so this is your palace <laughs> this is your kingdom this one it could just be a random person that's taking a board in you what is the page of cups This one is okay. <clears throat> Whoa, the Ten of Pentacles. Oh. Because this one I feel is transforming the entire place. This one is one that would come in, nurture the garden. Even if it found this place vacated, it would come in and take care of what is there. And so things prosper. You know, that's what I feel with the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is your energy, Cancerian as well. I'm seeing Earth energy as well. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. One day, what is a 10 of? It's the energy of you not being able to identify yourself. Hmm. Because someone else was there and you weren't home. Something about your roots, you see that with the ancestor card, the ace of wands. The three of cups feels like home as well. So to find, find this home within yourself, and I feel like that's important. 
because you that's going to help you to be more in your kingdom like returning or transforming so it's going to help you to be more like the you are the lamp in your own home you are now the light you're not just sitting there with a light you've now become the light that shines forth from your own home so you can you now know yourself and all you bring with the chariot energy the chariot energy feels like you and the fullness of your expression as the light that shines through all of you your windows your doors your crevices you know what i mean your full expression your senses the way you speak how you see what you give the energy that surrounds you all of your expression itself i feel like you are coming home with this light you're almost there it's like like there's a sh there's a wall of water that you're about to go through like this gate or a portal now and it's like this final step that's take that's you entering into home maybe you've been meditating a lot or working on yourself so that you can get to know fully who you are becoming fully self-aware fully self-realized and i feel this one that has it's very important this one that was living here because mind you this person i don't think they were deliberately trying to hurt you but they just were no not um this one was literally just there because no one was home and so it lived there all right cancer we're leaving these messages here this is a reading was about home finding yourself in home becoming self-aware so you can live or not just not really identity holding on to an identity but becoming self-aware so you live as a full expression of who you are in your full self is that energy of blooming so find that home within you and i feel like there's some blessings to celebrate we see keys we see new things coming in connecting to your ancestors and you really taking the center stage of your own life as the lamp in your own temple your own kingdom beautiful messages you know it was the way it was it was coming through may have been slow i don't know but that's how it felt but they are beautiful messages for you in this time I feel a lot is falling because the seven of swords is heavy. It's like this one had junk in you, a lot of tin cans and scrap metals, you know. And now that you've come home and they've vacated the premises, they've taken with them a lot of what did not belong. Oh my God, I feel like throwing up. This is like feeling very spiritual. So for me as this channeler, but them leaving, it's taking away. I feel a lot of metals want to come out of me. I like that's how I feel. I, I'm feeling strange in my body as this one leaves. It's taking what it, it does not belong to me. And I'm really realizing that. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, oh my God, my ears and my face. It's weird. Like I feel clearing up. And this one is not harmful. It's like a little old man or something like that. That was just living there. And he took what he took what belonged to him. Some old tin cans and sorry. That's the energy I'm getting. It's just that person. And they're very happy in their heart as well. That kind of a spirit. That's why they aren't even fighting or fussing. They know that I've come home so to speak um see the king is here <sighs> all right justice so be careful if this person wants to take some of what does not belong with them like your minerals i heard minerals some of your minerals because i feel as i say this is a kingdom 
rocks, precious things. So don't be naive and too openly trusting. Do what is right. And if you see this one or some, oh my God, I hope you're following someone that may be taking from you to really get the law involved or some kind of justice here so you feel good and the other you know the whole situation is balanced don't just allow someone to leave and just be too trusting it's like okay to ask questions like hey you know what's up what do you have there what have you been doing here all this time <laughs> i feel like you have the right to do so okay cancer all right i'll see you in the next reading much love remember that you're all all is within you take care bye